Rice on a Chessboard, an Exponential Story Legend has it, once upon a time, the king of Ambalapusa challenged a travelling sage to a game of chess. If the sage was to win that game, he could ask for any reward he wanted. Sure enough, the sage won the game, and when the king offered him his reward, the sage asked for the following. Give me one grain of rice on the first square of this chessboard, then two grains on the next square, four grains on the next, eight on the next, and so on, so that each square has double the amount of the previous. Well, the king was very confused with this. Didn't the sage want some treasure? Or anything else he could offer? No, the old sage stuck with the rice. So the king got his officials to collect together the rice and he started putting it onto the chessboard. He put one grain on the first square, then two grains on the second, four grains on the third, then eight, 16, 32, 64, finally 128 on the last square of the top row. It was looking good for the king so far. This wasn't a big reward. So he starts on to the second row. 256 grains on the first square, then 512, and the numbers just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger, until by the end of the second row, the king needed 32,768 grains. He was starting to get a bit worried by now, but he kept on going. But by the end of the third row, he needed 8.4 million grains of rice on that last square alone. He kept on counting. By the end of the fourth row, he would need 2.1 billion grains of rice. Now, he didn't have this much rice, but he got his officials to do their working out, and they calculated by the time he reached the end of the chessboard, he would need nine times 10 to the 18 grains of rice on that last square alone. That's nine with 18 zeros after it. And by the time the chessboard was full, the king would have needed to give the sage 18 quintillion, 446 quadrillion, 744 trillion, 73 billion, 709 million, 551,615 grains of rice. That would weigh approximately 210 billion tonnes and would be enough to cover the entire country of India with a metre high layer of rice. Now by this point the king was very confused and very worried. How could he possibly pay the old sage? Then the old sage revealed himself to be the Lord Krishna in disguise. And he said to the king, you don't have to pay it all now, but promise me you'll provide payasam, which is a form of rice pudding, to every pilgrim who visits this temple until your debt is paid. The king was a man of his word, and to this day, payasam, the rice pudding, is provided to every pilgrim who visits the temple, and the debt is still being repaid. <laughs>